Good morning everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about the spherical coordinate system. It is one of the lectures uh, talking about dynamo points and this is all as a part of a dynamo course uh, for beginners. Uh, spherical coordinate system, um, I'm, I'm using this image uh, from uh, Wikipedia of, uh, you know, uh, defining locations and points and, you know, defining a coordinate system based on the usage of uh, a sphere instead of, you know, the Cartesian system, which is dependent on X and Y. Uh, we also studied the, you know, cylindrical system in the previous uh, videos. And this one specifically, you will notice that there is a sphere and, you know, on the surface, one sphere, or probably you can use more than one sphere, as you can see, to define the location of any point you want uh, by, by going uh, nearer or further away from the center or by walking on the surface in a horizontal way or a vertical way. Anyway, so if we back to uh, uh, Dynamo, you can find the point dot uh, by spherical coordinate, either by searching it in the library or by right clicking and write the name same old way. Uh, in it, you're going to find yourself in a, in a need for, uh, you know, defining a coordinate system. And uh, in, if you want, of course, to, you know, make it movable or in a, in a specific rotation or a specific angle. Otherwise, the point by coordinate system can create an automatic or actually have a default automatic uh, coordinate system, which is hidden here somewhere in the, in the file. The phi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, pronouncing it correctly. It's just as the definition goes, it's the angle down uh, from the Z axis, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in measured, it's actually in, in degrees. So if, uh, if you have a look at, uh, I'm just moving this aside, I'm trying to see where is my point. Yep, uh, it's the X axis on the other way. So I'm just gonna rotate my view. Yeah, it's better. So what we have in here is, you know, uh, the first, uh, you know, parameter we have we call it phi and you can see that uh, it's actually been measured as the definition say uh, from the z-axis so I'm, I'm giving it a 90 degrees so if i'm, I'm reducing this uh, you will see that it goes you know in an arc way it's actually it's following an imaginary sphere here on this location i'm going to go 45 min, uh, degree and you see that it's the angle between this line toward the center and here it is 45 if I make it let's say 15 it will go closer to the Z and of course zero will make it you know exactly to the Z I will uh, keep it on 90 degree and that will help me to explain the theta which is the second parameter and in it you the definition said it's uh, you know the rotation around uh, the sphere from it's actually or away from the x axis so it should be rotating that way based or that way based on an angle created from the x axis so if i you know push that a bit uh, to the uh, higher value you can see that it's moving and so on it can go to 360 uh, degree to get back to the same place to make a complete uh, circle anyway uh, try not to make this on zero or i think 360 because if you did you know uh, the change here will not make any any difference because it's going to rotate you know on the pole which is have no uh, absolutely no effect on the overall thing uh, especially or specifically if you have only one point it doesn't have you know an entire mesh generated for you i'm talking about a specific point so put that at 90 degree and then you can feel yourself afraid to see the effect of changing you know uh, the theta parameter of course the radius is you know self-explained it's just increasing it will be make it closer or farther away from the radius of the sphere so let's turn off this one and as we go and as i explained previously in uh, in the previous videos uh, I will just make the things go as much more advanced learning. and this uh, you know next uh, script uh, I'm gonna add a range from 0 to a and then it jump uh, 5 uh, degree uh, instead of a fixed value for the phi as I have done before so the 90 degree that we have it will be general input for an a 
which is the end of the range so we're gonna have like 0 5 10 15 and so on so let me and that's of course instead of a one point so that will be you know generating for us uh, you know an arc uh, which is you know you see that 0 5 uh, following the a cut vertical cut on the sphere itself and of course if you change you know the theta it should be rotating around you know the z axis and it's exactly making an angle uh, from the x axis as you can see here now to have uh, another look at this one now if i goes instead of a 90 degree if i use a 360 it will generate a full circle here for the you know whole values of the phi and of course the theta will cause it to be you know rotate uh, you know uh, around the z axis as per this example exactly the one difference is that the, it's, this is the free previous one making a quarter you can make it 180 to like have a circle while this guy will make it 360 it's exactly the same the range we fix the phi and we use the range for the theta and uh, let me activate the preview and now you see the circle is actually on the ground or on the x and y plane and of course if i you know reduce this value it will generate uh, you know sectors or uh, incomplete uh, circle you can make it 90 degree if you want to use the same concept of the arc that we use in a couple of scripts before or just fix it as a 360 to make it uh, you know exactly the whole a full circle and as long as it said it's 90 on on and a five if we decrease that so the circle will go upward in a curved way following the geometry of the sphere itself until you know reach to the pole or the north pole of the sphere uh, if i can say so of course and that's the you know uh, the end of the sphere or the imaginary sphere that you know existed here in this type of uh, coordinate system now if we have or if we have uh, you know uh, have a look at this one now we are actually generating an entire uh, dots or an array of a sphere uh, sorry an array of a, a point based on a spherical coordinate so uh, this array here and of course uh, I just mm, just forget to say that the whole thing can be considered as an array whether if you're making an arc or a full circle now you are making a spherical array so we probably better you know to amend the name itself and you can see that 360 uh, for the uh, you know uh, five while 180 is enough because if you make it 360 you know twice the amount of the points required let me show you so if I lower than to 90 it will be technically a half and that way of making the half it's a bit of crazy here and uh, you can see that uh, 180 is more than enough that's the exactly 180 sorry 90 180 will push that to this side and push that to this side and you don't need to overlap that again so i'm going to keep it as 180 and that's again a, a spherical array and if you if you want and i'm going to talk again about generating the surface you can just add a nerve surface by point just connect those together and you're going to get yourself a nice uh, sphere uh, although you can create it uh, by you know a different command here a special command for that but don't forget this is an uh, the other one will be creating it as a solid well this one is just a surface anywho so i'm going to turn off that uh preview also off and in this guy let's see what this guy gonna do and in here we have a hemisphere and basically you know if you want to have a look at the values i have a 90 degree only so from this point to this point just 90 while the you know the theta will making it create or, or actually creating a full uh, circle that will give us a hemisphere or half a sphere again if you connect those dots with the nerve surf by point you're going to get yourself a nice uh, surface that's the thing that's the hemisphere you can make a quarter of it or half of it it depends on how you look at it so quickly i'm going to show that because it's uh, you know self-explained this is uh this the, the half of a hemisphere as you can see and again this is all part of a spherical array and here i'm having uh, 90 by 180 
in the other nodes or other scripts here is just to make it as a quarter hemisphere and that goes for 90 by 19 as you can see and all of those uh, spherical arrays can be actually generating uh, you know or can generate here uh, the surface you need just by connecting those to a nerve surface by points just connect those to input and output to generate the thing anyhow so uh, i think that um, you know uh, can give us a good start starting points uh, you know for uh, creating the required spherical coordinate system i prepared uh, a group of uh, you know uh, simple examples to generate different type of geometries uh, specific you know like a, a not a, not a full hemisphere but just like a 30 percent cut off the sphere itself and you can even slice it vertically to get you know uh, you know not the whole shell generated and you can also make you know the vertical uh, you know, uh, like lathing here, or you can make that out of a wood or uh, steel frames. Different uh, possibilities and different uh, shapes. I will keep that, uh, I'll actually I'll explain that uh, in the practical video, next video. I just wanted to show you, you know, like why we are studying, you know, what the, what the benefit out of, you know, having a spherical system. Most of, most of the guys is just ignoring it. Uh, it, it might be useful you know to understand how it works and uh, there is lots of possibilities actually I just make a couple of them uh, for us to have a look at uh, in the next video it won't be you know just uh, to explain their points uh, but rather to you know sh see the practical and uh, practical or life example how to use them in a more architectural uh, way or uh, pavilions and uh, or other shading devices depend on how you look at it anyway that will be in the next video so um, I've, I've tried my best to to know posted this week uh, thank you guys for watching me and have a good day bye bye